<clears throat> okay, testing volume. Looking good. Desktop music is also looking good. Hello, hello. Welcome or welcome back to the Tiffany Lou live streams. Here we do anything related to knitting and we're doing a live stream where we're knitting. Yay, 1 p.m. PST, Tuesdays, Thursdays. Um, if you're knitting along with me, let me know. I would love to know in either the stream chat or also you can put it in the Discord. So Discord is in the link in the bio um, or description box. You can join it and then add like pictures of what you're doing. And like, it's always fun. We go through it during the middle of the stream. So definitely put it there because I love seeing it. Uh... Yeah, happy Thursday. Hope everyone is having a lovely day. Also, make sure you stay hydrated. Have tons of water. I'm like dehydrated, like 100%. Like the, the mouth is just continuously dry. So that's fine. Um, and yeah, make sure you're stretching if you're knitting along with me. Because you don't want that good, good, I mean bad, bad carpal tunnel. Um... Mar, hi Lily, uh, Vibes and Crafts, Bethan, Ellie, hi, Shayla, Andrea, hi Tiffany, you're saving me from boredom in my drawing class, just finished my last final exam of the semester, yeah, April, I guess is exam time, at least it was, not when I was in school, uh, Red Calico, Ashley, Leandra, hello, Peggy Snell, hi, I'm almost done marking 950 calculus exam. So happy. Then I can knit. Gross. <laughs> um, love the top. Thank you. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, this is the Monday top. We finally, um, not finally, I um, blocked the bottom part. So I thought I would wear it for today. Yeah, <laughs> that's about it. But it, it like wears really nicely. I'm wearing a bra, so it like really... I don't know, the boobs are really showing today, so I don't mind it at all, but I really do love the square neckline. I just feel like it's really, it just looks like I'm wearing like a muscle tank or something, and I'm into it. Um, it just looks like a normal tank. Yeah, it just looks like I'm wearing a shirt, so that was, that's like the energy I want for all of the shirts that I'm making, so... Um, does it have bust shaping? No, she's, she's a pure, she's a flat box. Um, there was no underseam. That's hilarious. I think it's just the line that has been created because of my boob there. That's so funny. Um, the finishing coming through. <laughs> um, having such a hard time choosing yarn for your test knit. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I feel like. The, um, the Thursday top one is quite ambiguous. Like you could do anything. I heard people were doing like linen. Um, I have actually swatched, so I will be making a new one um, because I want to see how it look like as a, like a oversized fit. So this is the little swatch I made. <laughs> I'll show you guys closer up, but I'm thinking I bought this dungarees, the Queensland dungaree tweed, and I'm holding it with one strand of my Holst Super Soft. So I know it's wool, which I'm kind of like, eh, but it's like, this one's cotton. So I'm hoping it will kind of even itself out. But this is just what it looks like. I think it'll be really nice. So I'm gonna hope it works, cause I'm gonna do it. And I'm hoping I can do it before the trip, but that seems in, that seems really ambitious. Um, but if that gives you any idea, so you can technically do it like two fingerings, you can do one fingering, you can do like a linen, you can do a cotton, you can do a wool. It's all up to you really. Maybe that's the issue of it all. Uh, working on my Tombow tea, different tones of white and brown. Finally had time for once. Um, lol, well, it's cute regardless. Thank you, thank you. Made it back from my interview. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! How was it? Also, no need to tell us how was it. You can just have a chill time and we can, um, knit. But yeah, sorry, today I'm just gonna be swatching stuff. I'm like in this like weird little, I feel like a, maybe like a, maybe like 
making a lot of stuff and then we're now in like a lull where I'm trying to find what I want to knit. So we're trying to get back up um, and get inspiration. So I'm just swatching a couple things to see how they look like on four millimeter. Um, just cause why not? Uh, knitting on my mother's day gift socks, nice. Oh, she all of a sudden I want to knit that. Uh, knit which one? Um, hey, currently knitting a heavily modified Rustrel top with BC Garden Bio Balance. 55 wool, 50, 45 cotton. It's such a nice yarn, and with my C knits, it's dream to knit. Okay, lovely. Yeah, oh my gosh, and then, because we were talking about it last stream, about how I wanted to make um, a needle case. So this is the beginnings of my needle case. I know it doesn't look like much, okay? It really does not look like much. But, like you fold it in, and it'll be a needle case. <laughs> um, I don't know, I'm really proud of it. Like I, I put a lot of work in, oh, you can't see. I put a lot of work into it, so um, we're hoping for the best. I did end up doing the double pointed needle ones first because I was too scared to do the zipper um, for the other one. So I'm kind of like pushing that one back, but I think the plan is, is I'm just going to do that base for all of them and then do the canvas backing last, which I'm like heavily really scared about. So love that for me. Um, my dog is currently stalking my, stalking me for food. Love that. <laughs> Have a follow-up interview next Thursday. There's definitely a non-zero chance I'll get the job. Nice. Oh, you got my Patreon yarn today. They're so pretty. Oh my gosh. Um, I still have a couple more to send out. I just, I forgot to dye a couple. So that was, or not forgot, I miscounted. So we're going to have to do that really quickly. Um, hey y'all, starting on the sleeves of the stripey cardigan. I've been working on for about a million years. I'm desperate to get this done. I believe in you. We can do it for the stream. We can do it. If you if you knit along with me, you can get two hours worth of stuff done. Um, so cute, I need to make one. Oh, nice, with meaning to make a needle case too. It's actually not, like, it's not a lot of work, but that whole little section took me like half a day to do because I was being really, um, I guess meticulous because I really want this one to turn out really well. Um, and so, each step would take me an extra 20 minutes because I was just like, I was like, um, I like even used an iron. I was like ironing stuff. I like weaved in all the ends because I was like, I'm not gonna have any loose threads on this. So it's a lot of, it's been a lot of um, troubleshooting as well. Um, so neat, gosh, I really want to learn how to sew. And you should, it's so scary, but you should. Um, Masha, hi, good to see you, hi. Uh, I can definitely see the craftsmanship on it. Thanks, it's all me. Uh, proud of you, Tiff. You mentioned wanting to make a case in two streams. So, progress is slay. Yeah, I... I don't know what came over me. It was like a weird... Let's do this now. Because I think I was cleaning. And then I was like, eh, let's make a mess. So now my room's like a whole mess. Um, working on the Ingrid Slipover with Feeling Good Yarn by Wool and the Gang. Best decision ever so fluffy. Yes. Sewing is really such so much effort. It is, and no one says it. Like, you, you, like knitting, you can just pick up. It's like whatever. Sewing is like each step I take needs to be perfect, or else everything after it will be horrible. And that's how I describe sewing. Um, hey Tiff, I'm sick today, so I'm off work. On the brighter side, I can finally catch the stream live. Sorry you're sick, but thank you for coming. Knitting is just easier to pick up and put down, so it's so much effort to set up and clean up. I know, I just like, I've literally just left it. Um, so we're gonna ignore that. Currently, I am swatching. So, oh my gosh, I don't know if anyone remembered this little swatch of Noro. I want, I don't know what I wanna make with this. This is the Compito yarn. I, I like have a list of stuff like of these pattern ideas that I've been like thinking of and trying to match yarn combos with them. So I'm torn because I want to make something beautiful with this, but I also only want to use one skein. And then I want to swatch. I have some boring yarn that I want to see what gauge I should try this for because it's a 50 cotton, 50 wool. It is 
100 meters, so it's a DK weight. I was going to make the boring T and the boring short, but I have no desire to do that anymore because it's not available. Plus, I tried casting it on and it was the weirdest. It like didn't meet gauge at all, so almost gave up immediately. Um, I have this one skein. Ooh, it's a lot more. It's a lot less blue in here. I swatched. This is my classic sock. Um, hand dyed yarn. I hand dyed this color, um, and I just wanted to test out the four millimeter. Four millimeter is actually quite nice. So I have two two hanks of these. So I'm kind of tripping on what I should make with this. I wanted to test out. This is my merino, 50% merino, 50% silk that I am currently swatching because I want to see if it can. Um, if it bodes well, I guess, with four millimeter. I, I, I don't know. I've just been like trying to see what works with four millimeter and what doesn't. Because all of these are essentially fingering weight. So, um, finally back to working on my typical slipover. Nice. I also need to work on a typical slipover. Thank you for reminding me. Um, cutting fabric itself is a chore. Yeah, I like the math. I like bought. I bought this, um, this guy. I have this huge ruler because I always cut like squares, um, slanted. So it'll be like slanted here because I'll just be using a ruler. So I bought this. It's quite handy. And it makes the chore less tedious. I also was swatching my cashmere. I have this cash eco cashmere by Nordic. I was contemplating doing this for the Thursday top. So it's this or it's this but I wanted something I wanted something that would be light and like something more for the spring summer like cashmere just seems so thick like I know this is quite thin but I've worn my poppy tea out and I used the cashmere and it's just it's just like a little too hot maybe so I'm kind of torn I'm I'm I want to make something for both of those things, so they'll definitely get projects for them, but I don't know what yet. Um, T-shirt. I want to make a tank for the Nora one, just because it only comes with 450 meters. It's not a lot. Um, hi, just joined. I'm knitting the typical tank, but now obviously not doing the rib because of you and one of the streams. Wait, are you going to do the stock knit border then instead? Um, you're so right about sewing. There's a reason I need to relax after my degree, which is sewing based. Um, also, my BF bought me a stork scissor. Aw, and I got my crochet mojo back. Awesome. Dude, I got I got one of those crafting needles because of um, Over the Garden Wall. God, I should watch that again. Um, Everyone, hi, I'm currently freehanding it, knitting a brioche vest. Nice. Maybe some linen. The issue is, is I don't have linen. So again, I'm trying to stash bust. Uh, and kind of every project that I make right now will just be based off of what I have in the collection. Um, but I was contemplating like maybe going to Scandi getting some Isier, like the brown Isier that she, uh, that Patina used for her cloud top. I was contemplating just buying that and knitting a Thursday top, but I think I want to start something here. To, um, the Compito would be nice. I just want to save that for its own pattern. I don't know. I, I'm like weirdly attached to that one being a pattern, <laughs> which is crazy. Um, just because I want like a chorizo tee or like a chorizo top. Mm, I need to swatch and find something to make with alpaca wool. I found cones of it at a thrift store for $3 each. Someone didn't know what they were pricing. Dude, I love it when that happens. Uh, I recently went to um, a thrift store and I got like an Yves Saint Laurent um, blazer. That was crazy. Um, I like the cashmere color better. I think if it's the vibe. Okay. That's what I was also thinking, but I also like the look of a light beige or, um, like a white, but the issue is I have a white Alice top, so I feel like it's almost too similar. You can make one of those sleeveless turtleneck tops. 
All for the com the compito compito. I would love. I honestly should. I want to make. I want to make a turtleneck tee. That is also a goal of mine. I do think I'm gonna need a sweater quantity almost. <laughs> so, um, I have the stork scissor because of over the garden wall too. Yeah, dude. It's. It was a must. It was a must. Um, maybe it was hot because it was black. Uh, yeah, I'm doing stuck in it instead. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I'm currently drying mine. I know I, you're not supposed to do this, but I'm doing this. I need to do that. Um, but it's currently drying because I would love to take photos of it and like re redo my typical tank pronto. Um, I'm making a Mio Mai tea with Noro Tsubame right now. Maybe you can make a nice tea with a beautiful shoulder with the Noro. I definitely could. A chorizo tea would be amazing. I have to like, I need more inspiration for teas though. I'm like torn, I guess, on making a good tea and this is now tangled. I love this. Um, what about the Mondo? I think you were using it for the soul. Was that cotton wool blend? Oh, that one, I only have two skeins. Like she really is not a lot. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be enough. It is not enough for like anything. It's probably only enough for a tank. Um, but yeah, like there's no way I could make a, um, an oversized Thursday tea. Uh, Thursday top, sorry. Um, I just joined. I love the top you're wearing. Thank you. She's the Monday top. Um, available test knit. Who knows? I think the plan is I would love to like kind of send out test knits every two weeks if we're good on our if we're good on our stuff um, for all of the tops that I've recently made. So this guy will probably potentially start in June. I know it's kind of late, but what to do? Um, turtleneck tee, how does that look? Um, just think of like a t-shirt with a turtleneck. That's like kind of the vision I want to make for something. Don't know what yet. Um, does anyone else feel the snap in your heart when you sit on your needle and it breaks? Has that happened to you? That's never happened to me. That's so scary. Um, ooh, if you really want to know, the Japanese pronunciation is closer to kompeito. Competo. Okay, I'll try to remember that. Thank you so much. Uh, I'd love to see a blouse tee, like the cumulus with longer sleeves. This is the perfect summer top to me, for me. That's so funny. I want to make tees that are shorter, like not as long as patinets, but like shorter, like up here. <laughs> That's the type of tee I want to make. Um, Guest in residence just released a tee, kind of like the naked tee, but naked knit by naked knits, but short sleeve. Okay, okay. Just joined, currently binding up my cami number five. Ooh, nice. Love that one. That's a good one. Um, but yeah, PK does love a sh long short tee. She does. The longest. And I think that's what throws me. I think I'm a short, short tee girl. Working on the double knitted edge for my Robinson wrap right now. We're on day two of working on it. It's taking so long. Oh no. Okay. Anyway, finished what the swatch is going to be. This is way more than enough. F damn. Okay. Well, she's lovely. I'm going to write this down in my notes. So yeah, this is my notes. These are my current like yarn combos that I've been thinking about. So this one is just going to be my merino silk. Merino silk, four millimeters. And then I'll also do the eco cashmere. And we're almost running out of space, but alas. Because we did the Mondim, I did the trio for the Friday top, the Mercy was for the Wednesday top, Highland Wool, I've been working on Holst is the Monday top. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see what we get to. Okay, next I wanted to do this guy. Okay, we're gonna do 
boring yarn. Um, are we still playing the peak hydration game? No, 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 that was only for the one stream. There's no way. We would just give up. Also, I realized that Petite Knit was also doing another top. So someone was talking about the striped top, and I didn't realize that she was talking about another striped top that she was doing. So she's like, she's making a striped... There's no way this is gonna load. Uh, how do I find this? Okay, let's look up. She's making a striped top, but it has like bluey stripes. I don't think I'll be able to find the link, but interesting. Um, I've been biking a lot recently. I need, a, need tops to wear. I want to knit some tank tops, but I don't know if it'd be too heavy. I think you could probably get away with... Oh, I don't know. That's hard. It really, I think, depends. There was a picture on Instagram. It was like a blue and white stripe that I found interesting. Lol, this is a removed PK <laughs> tag because I... Oh my god, update. I've been frogging. Guys, I've been frogging my Elizabeth blouse. This is the Elizabeth blouse in my cashmere. I can't believe I did it, but also it made me so sneezy. I was sneezing everywhere. This is what I still currently have to unravel. But it was like very bittersweet unraveling this. Um. Ooh, life date. Your girl got a, has a day. Ooh. Uh, uh, ooh. <laughs> That's awesome. Love that. I feel like da dates are so... They're so... Oh, you know what we should do? We should also swatch... Thank you for reminding me, Tar. We should swatch the um, cashmere. Sorry. Oops. <laughs> there's no way I'm going to get away with... Um, there's no way I'm going to get away with uh, four millimeter, but we'll still swatch it if we have time. Um... Just ordered some yarn and now we wait. Okay, I understand, but it still bothers me the pattern say blocked gauge swatches because it's just more work. I don't want to. Oh no. Um, yes, I'm so happy hoping it goes well. Yeah, for sure. Uh, sorry if you've mentioned before, but what do you think about Holst Coast? I love it. I'm honestly on board. I think held one strand is maybe a little bit too light for me, so I think held two strand is lovely. I have some um, Holst Mushroom that I'm hoping to either hold one strand with the super soft or one strand just, or two strands with, um, two strands together to make a top. I haven't decided yet. I love using my yarn winder to frog. <laughs> I would, but like I would be cranking it so fast that like the fibers would go everywhere. Like even me doing it for the Elizabeth blouse, like yarn was flying everywhere. It was honestly a too much. Um, I miss boring knits. You never got to make the boring knit set. I know, this is the yarn that they sent me. I, I don't know, I just feel like it's kind of weird to knit it now since like the pattern's not available. So I'm just gonna come up with something to knit with the yarn. Cause it's nice yarn. It's very nice yarn. Um, How's the Nordic cashmere compared to the Knitting for All of One? I honestly can't, I feel like I can't even compare because this is a lace, isn't it? Um, this is a lace compared to this fingering weight yarn. Like, it's just two different things, but I will say this is so lovely. Once you wash it, it's so lovely. Um, I recently bought fiber from a Ren Fair. It was so sneezy for a day because the wooliness was so intense. <laughs> that is not okay. Like whenever that happens, I have to like put on a air purifier because I'm worried that I'm inhaling like way too many things into my lungs. Uh, how's the mondum working for a close fitting garment? Isn't it too itchy? I actually don't mind it. My Kensington Prairie, the DK, the cotton alpaca, I find that one's itchier than the Mondim. The Mondim is actually quite nice, but 
if you're really sensitive, I would say maybe don't go for it. Um, I really liked it though. Maybe you need a mask, very true. Definitely could go for a mask. Um, it's so shocking you're left-handed, you give right-handed vibes. Okay, but like, who gives off left-handed vibes when like the majority of everybody is, is right-handed? Do you know what I mean? Like, when I was in school, there was like, like high school or elementary school, I don't know, but whenever they would call out left-handed people, it would be me and one other person. So like, what does that mean? Uh, the only yarn that makes me see is mohair. I'm making a sweater right now that's two strands together and makes my allergies flare up, but it's pretty. <laughs> I feel that. Yeah, I find if I'm not careful, there's some mohairs that for sure will make me sneezy, which I don't appreciate at all. You're like the second person I've seen frogging the Elizabeth blouse. Dude, I know. It's just like I like I used cashmere. Do you know what I mean? And I was I needed that to be the top and it wasn't. So we'll just, I need, I need to use that yarn because I'm not going to waste it. Um, oh, so nice. It's a little thick though. I probably wouldn't do this on a four. I might do this on like a four and a half, five maybe, but it's nice. Um, what is this yarn though? It looks delicious. Oh, I don't know where that is coming from. This is the boring yarn. I think it's just, it says it's distributed, distributed by a Gepard yarn. So I'm assuming it's just their DK weight cotton merino. And if you're talking about this yarn, this is the Knitting for Olive Compatible Cashmere. And then the yarn that I used for uh, the Elizabeth Blouse is just the same one. It's the Nordic yarn Eco Cashmere. Okay, stunning. Uh, my uncle who's supposed to bring the fiber and drop spindle I bought might not be coming. It's Loki stressing me out. Oh no, can they ship it over? Uh, speaking of breathing in fibers, let's see what damage is being caused at my doctor's appointment tomorrow. Wait, are you going specifically because of uh, breathing issues? Love your tank. Oh, thank you. Sorry I'm late. No, you guys, you guys don't have to tell me you're sorry that you're late. Like, just the fact that you're popping in is so cute. Like, the fact that some of you guys literally tell me, you're like, oh, I gotta go, like, have a nice stream. Like, that's the sweetest thing. <laughs> uh, but the tank is the Monday top. Um, I haven't posted any pictures because I haven't actually taken any. So, hopefully, we can do that. Um, that's so funny because I actually used to know a lot of lefties growing up. Okay, lucky. My sister and I are both left-handed, even though our parents are both righties. Always found that funny. That is very funny. I also get so offended. Like my uncle, he would, um, like we had some like baby people, baby people. We had some, um, like little cousins and then like nieces and nephews and stuff. And whenever they would pick up a pen or something with their left hand, like he would joke, he would be like, no, no, no. You got to pick it up with your other hand. And I'm like, I was like ready to fight. So anyway. But this is nice. The issue is I have so much yarn of this. Like I have so many skeins that I think it would be better to just make like a sweater. I don't know, I'm torn, but I love the color. Okay, next. I wanna try four millimeter with with um Sunday. Does anyone know if there's a pattern that does that? Uh, I was gonna look up whether the Friday T, I think the Friday T was on three millimeters now that I'm thinking about it. Um, Team Devil Hand. <laughs> oh, is that what we're referred to? Lovely. Um, a lot of kids in my current school are left-handed. I'm not seeing these many left-handed people, even though I'm ambidextrous. That's cool. Um, almost all of my bio teachers have been left-handed. Okay. I'm more of a Surrey person than a mohair one, but I had some mohair in my stash that needed to be used for sure. Okay, yeah, so normally people use Sunday for three millimeters. Do you think I can filter this? Uh, does anyone know how to advance filter projects with Sun is Garn? Okay, I think I'm doing it. I think we're successfully doing it. Okay, stunning. Okay, there are. No, okay, there aren't because these people are mixing it with a mohair, so I am torn. Like, what, what does this mean to me? Um, 
I'm s I still use my right hand, but every once in a while, I do prefer to go solely left-handed for the funsies. Um, we love that for you. Nearly started knitting my ribbing without changing needles. Oh, that's dangerous. I hate when that happens. That happens to me too often. Uh, filter just one strand. Oh my god, thank you. Stunning, 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 gorgeous, stunning. Where do I find that? Did I miss it? Ooh, ooh. Do I just ooh? Should I do, amount of yarn? Amount of yarn. Amount. 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 Pick the colors. Use filter. Use one. Should filter it. More search options. Finished in. Additional filters. Hands bundle size. Oh God. Uh, okay, let's try. Let's just do fingering. Let's see what that gets me. Or do you think because it's fingering already, people are, their UI is so bad. Pick, okay, we'll do colors. Okay, colors used, colors used, yardage, colors used. Okay, Ex oh, ex what, excuse me? Okay, does that mean I've already chosen? Okay, one, okay. Oh, we love that for me. Let's do that. Okay. No, no, that did not give me that. Okay, okay. But I think the people who are making the anchor are holding a two strand. There's no way. Yeah. Okay, let's see. I love these archive types of UI though. <laughs> Okay, well, from this, I want to say it's almost impossible. So I'm just going to try it and we'll see. I want to say it could, I could probably get away with three and a half, maybe. I think I'm being a little bit ambitious with trying for a four. Um, get rid of the fingering weight. After my exams, I really want to sit down and customize my Ravelry. And what is that last word? A oh oh A O three oh <laughs> to be more suited to my to me because I can't keep having to put up with it. <laughs> Love that. Okay, we're gonna try it. I don't think it's gonna be. Oh my god, this is too tiny. Wow. Oh my gosh, even my classic sock you could get away. This is definitely a light fingering. Ooh, should I try? No, should I try? Um, knitting for all of Merino, maybe, as well. I'm torn. Because I do have some leftover of that that I would love to use up. Uh, after... Okay. Casting on the Travels Cardi by Ozetta. Hacking it to look like the Nikki Chasen Cardi. I love knitting. What is the Nikki Chasen one? I find one size up from what the wrapper says is usually fine. Okay, the wrapper says, the wrapper says three, guys. So we're gonna try. Even on 3.25, it's loosey goosey. Oh God, no, I'd have to hold this or something. Just finished a ripple camisole by Jesse Made. It's currently blocking. Stunning. Okay, there's no way. I don't think I like this. <laughs> Maybe I'm a tight knitter. I was working with a Brit, a bright pink mohair that stained my Leica needles. Oh, I know. It happens to me all the time. Like, especially because I like black. Like, it just stains. There's just, like, nothing you can do about it. The answer is, is honestly, just buy another. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, maybe you could hold double. The issue is, is that I feel like once you hold it double, it gets too thick. So I'm trying to like, f like, 
I'm trying to experiment, I guess you could say, with different uh, uh, yarn weights and seeing what I like. I'm trying to doing thinner thin th thinner things. Thinner things. Like the Mondim I found did really well. It did very, very well. But I don't know if I really like knitting like this. Um, yeah, just because I sometimes like a DK is a little too thick on a four. I want something a little bit. I held the Sunday double once. Didn't really like it. Okay. Today has been the work day from hell, so I'm glad I'm home. Oh no! I hope you're doing all right. Knit oh, all your problems away, like me. <laughs> is it a color match to the knitting for all of cashmere? It is not. The, the cashmere is a little bit darker. Um, I only have 25 grams of that guy, so I don't anticipate knitting quite a lot. Um, uh, like. Like, I'm not making a tea worth version with the cashmere. That's like 25 bucks each skein, and they're only 25 grams. That's crazy. Um, the Nikki Chase and Cardi is a beautiful red Cardi, but it's 400 bucks, so I'm making my own. Nice. Ooh, red snuff nug. I'm into that. The only issue is that if you work with very thin needles on bigger yarn, you have to be really conscious of your tension because anything goes. Okay. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. It's not the worst thing. Uh, I'm sorry, but having a really long cast really long tail from the cast on is so incredibly annoying i hate it but at the same time i don't want to do any yarn stepping before done with the project i actually find it very useful like not necessarily having a really long one but when i'm knitting in the round sometimes i don't like having a stitch marker so i'll just use it as kind of a marker <laughs> or say you're doing a garter stitch i also like to have it just because you know exactly where the, the start is Okay, but I don't know. I'm torn. I'm torn if I like this or not. Just cause, like, if I could maybe potentially do, like knit this in like a three and a half or a four, the options are endless for things that I can do and I don't have to mix it with mohair all the time. Not saying I'm like against mohair or anything, but like I would love to have like a little summery type top. I don't hate it, yeah. True, but having a really long tail is convenient. You have to seam something. Yes. I usually, I, I like it because um, a lot of my sweaters, uh, you have to pick up through the shoulders. And what I'll do is I'll just, I'll attach the working yarn to the cast on edge. And then you, it's like, you don't have to weave in any ends. I love that. Um, I like using tails as beginning of round markers too, unless I'm just, unless I decide it's bugging me too much, I have to weave it in. Oh yeah, like if this, if the yarn is any longer than this, I'll be annoyed. I'll be a little annoyed. Um, I don't know what you're swatching for, but if it's a summer top, I do think it's pretty good. I'm not, I'm, I'm not swatching for a particular object. It's more just like for reference. So then if I wanted to make something, I kind of, know what needle size works well um i do i think i do want to conquer a t-shirt a t-shirt would be lovely to conquer um a t-shirt in this would be interesting it'd be light oh my gosh should i make a t-shirt in this and have like really short sleeves and it'd be really like tight fitted oh, i'm into it okay next one i was gonna swatch Okay, I think we're gonna try this guy. So this is, oh my God, she's a lace though. I think we're gonna try three and a half. Cause there's no way. Oh, should I try three? Can you get three? Um, sucks when you accidentally knit with the cast on tail. Oh, I do that. I've done that so many times. Um, I'm just gonna look up naked knit because I 
feel like they do a lot of um, knitting for olive or cashmere things. And I want to see what their... Oh, I am not. Nope. Okay. I just want to see what they usually do. And then we aim for something higher than that. Um, yes, it is the compatible cashmere from Knitting for Olive. I only bought one, which I don't think is enough for anything. So let me know, let me know. Uh, let's see, what are you knitted with? Oh, they have their own cashmere. Okay, that's crazy. But anyway, it's essentially the same. Uh, this one's 187. There's this 170. I'm sorry, how is this 16 meters? For 25 grams thank you thank you so hey you can do it in 25 okay medium oh you only go to a 2xl are you sure okay um okay maybe i can get away with the 25 um medium yeah okay the cotton merino feels even thinner than the merino to me <laughs> Okay, what needle size did they use? Oh, three and a half. Hey, that gives me hope. Okay, I'm gonna look at three and a halfs. Look at another top, we'll see. Hey, there you go. Well, at least they went to a three XL, but still, um, two and a half. Okay, I'm gonna go three and a half and we'll see what happens. Uh, where is my, there you go. Um, the con yeah, the cotton merino is very thin. I have to knit the cotton merino with something. I'm personally a stitch marker fiend. I love them. I want to collect them all. I find them great for... Ooh, what are canal... Canal projects. I'm not sure what that means. Um, hi Chef off topic, but have you seen the Yumiko Higuchi embroidery? Feel like you might like it. No, I haven't. I'll look it up right now. Yumiko Higuchi. Ooh, okay. Oh, they put it on a mask. That's cute. If anyone else is interested, we'll put it on here just so everyone can also look at it. Um, I was going to say this looks like, um, punch needling on a mask. Oh my God. Yes. I need to figure out how to do this and then I will make a needle pouch for sure. A ring pillow. Oh no. Okay. That's gorgeous. Oh, little crabs. Anyway, if anyone's interested, here you go. Thank you so much. Dude, lovely. Um, okay, stitch markers are convenient, but they're annoying after a while. I don't understand how people use these bulky, fancy stitch markers. Uh, markers. Uh, the knot, knot top is so pretty, but my girls could never that, or I just wouldn't want to. Okay. Okay, let's try it. And then I think that's kind of it for the swatches. Then now my issue is this like finding yarns, finding, finding corresponding patterns to go with the yarns that I want to make. I never really thought I was, oh my God, this is too light. This is really light. Oh no, this is too light. What the hell would I use this for? I don't want this for a bra. No, oh no, this is so light. Oh no, 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 no. There's no way I would hold this with something. My bank account could never. Okay, but we're gonna knit up a swatch and I'm gonna see how it feels, because I mean, I'm curious. Ugh, have you worked on the Valentine's Day sock? I haven't. I am, I am, putting that one off as anyone else can see since I'm swatching um but we're so close I know I really should try to finish that sock um 
very delicate and cute. I know I've seen a lot of people being really in love with stitch markers, but something about them make me uncomfortable. Oh, I love using stitch markers for counting rows. So I really do like the ones that have the clip to them. I find that the ones that are just like the round ones, I don't get as much use with them because I don't like having to like put them over the needle, like say for a raglan, for example. But then again, I don't do raglan very often, so. Use it for a penny glove. There's no way you could knit this with a penny glove. I'd have to mix it with a mohair. Oh god, I don't like this. I really don't like this. I like... Oh my god, I didn't realize how little I was going to like this. I was really optimistic, too. Oh. oh my god, that really hurt. Okay. Headband! I think Handmade by Florence used one skein. Okay, what did she use for hers? Penny glove, I see. Okay, okay. Sorry, if you can hear the wood just scraping the desk, that's just how it'd be. Like, imagine I make a little bralette, though. Like, I get it. Like, it looks cute. But also, like, when am I gonna wear that? Okay, I'm gonna have to go to the um, compatible cashmere and see what people be making with this. Because holy schmoly, Oli. Oh, it is really soft and really thin. Oh, this would be a beautiful top. What am I even saying? But it's so thin. Um, yes, this is compatible cashmere. Um, if I really need to keep track of rounds, I'd tie a row counter on some yarn on the end of stitch markers. Okay, okay. Cashmere lace held triple. Feels dirty, but the lace I have is finer. Triple. You really want to hurt me, don't ya? Plus, like, I don't even know if I can get the same lot number. Oh, gosh. Uh, I've used compatible cashmere as an alternative to mohair. Okay. I want to knit a bralette, but I feel like there isn't any support. Oh, there is for sure not. But maybe I'll do it, because, again, I don't... I just want to use the one skein. Uh, again, because I don't think I will get the same lot number. Um, I thought a man was knitting on the bus, but it's actually fidg him fidgeting with the wire headphones. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a man knitting on the bus. But then again, I don't think I've ever seen a person, just like any human being besides myself, knit on public transit. Um, I really want to get some color mark yarn in like a lace and just ply it myself. Definitely doable. Um, I do like color mark. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, this is very nice. Oh, I'm upset. Oh, it's very nice. Okay. But also, what does compatible cashmere mean? Like, it's not actually? No, 100% cashmere. Weird. Okay. Um... Cones are really nice. I would say also Holst Garn, if you can, if you have access to that, uh, they sell cones, and I really liked their cones. Um, I've always wanted to try the woolly, woolly knits, woolly. Nope. What is it? Woolly something. Um, their cones, but again, their shipping was a little bit too spency. But if anyone can tell me if that cone is worth it, I might do it. Um, just watched Nina's Knits Knitting for Olive Book Review, and she said some of their patterns called for, like, eight strands held together. Sounds like they just want to sell more yarn. <laughs> yeah, no, it's quite crazy. Like, like, I get it if you're doing something chunky, but just come out with a chunkier yarn, guys. Um, hold it with an alpaca lace. I think they mean it's compatible because it's a color match. Oh, I see. Okay, well, I didn't think this was a color match at all. This is my Nordic Beach, okay? And this is my heavy... Like, it's not that... Like, you see that? It's not that similar. So, I would not say it's compatible. <laughs> 
Um, there's a guy in The Bachelor that knits and he knit a scarf on the way there. Oh, that's cute. I've seen videos in here of people knitting on public transit. Oh, psh, yeah. Like, I've seen videos, sure, but in person? Never. Uh, the Color Mart Yarn Support Team is so nice. Oh, yeah. I really like them. Uh, do you plan on coming out with a pattern to your cross neck? Total neck sweater. I do. She just is on the back burner because we're kind of focusing more on the tops, but uh, maybe more heading towards the fall. I would say I would love to come out with it. Um, my aim is to kind of get the testers rolling for these other tops first, but yeah, no, it's it's still coming. She's graded and everything. Um, same with the Henley. It's just kind of, you know, hard to release them all uh, at the same time and organize and make sure they're all running smoothly. Um, it's oh so oh this is very nice okay like i'm hating but i'm also like loving <sighs> oh i get it i'm contemplating of actually getting some cardiff i think cardiff cashmere or like the lang cashmere that patina is using for a maggie thing i've been contemplating getting some for like a project but that might be a little bit ambitious um I want to knit one thing out of that book. I was thinking about getting it from the library. I mean, yeah, if they have it at the library, go for it. What the hell? I wish mine had it at their library. Um, okay, I think this is it for my swatch, but oh my god. Uh, it's very nice. I think this being washed would be heavenly. Um, nap again. Oh, couldn't sleep last night. No worries. Um, I'm... Oh, my red flags is I do not like knitting for all of yarns that much. It's all a bit monochrome for me. So it's the color. It's not like the feel. Um, I, unfortunately, I, unfortunately, I love them. So here I am bearing you my soul. So from this, I don't think I think I have anything else to do, but I will write that down. Because I used three and a half. That wasn't a four. And I'll do Sunday as well. And I'm gonna write three and a half slash four millimeters and then KFO cashmere. Sorry. Cash cashmere is three and a half. Probably could do three, but that would literally destroy me. Um, really want to knit some ribbed red socks, but according to my sock plans for 2024, I have other socks to get through first. Um, Cardiff Cashmere is delish. I know I felt it in like a store in Germany and it was so expensive. I was like, do I really need it? So the answer is yes. I'd love to get me some. Um, sometimes I watch really old knitting podcasts from Inga or Larka and knitting for all of you used to carry heavier yarns like an Aaron weight. Oh, damn. Um, I've been really wanting to try Cardiff's brushed cashmere, but I wear my sweaters to death. The pilling would kill me. Um, the only KFO I've worked with is the pure silk, and I do love it. It is, that is probably one of my favorite silks for sure. But again, I just don't think I haven't, haven't tried enough so that bothers me okay i'm gonna try one more i have puna which is also a yarn i was contemplating knitting the thursday top in so i might just do that on some fours as well but i don't know if i want the cashmere of it all not cashmere sorry the alpaca of it all um i don't know if it's too warm i guess But it's very nice. But also, I've never used Puna. So I don't know how it works. Like, it works up. Um, I was contemplating getting a Merino single and seeing if I like how it looks like on 4 millimeters. Um, because I have a bunch of hand-dyed that I would love to use up. 
but I'm torn. I'm torn. I'm torn about a lot of things. It's really bad. I love the way they look when others use them, but I'm a DK ho. <laughs> love thinner yarns. Okay, okay. I know, right? There's something so satisfying about knitting with thinner yarn. Like, not even a DK does it for me, but for the sake of my shoulders, I have to make do. I, yeah, like, I'm trying to think, like, something in between. I guess it would be a sport. What am I even saying? I just, I, I just, I should just look for a sport yarn <laughs> and just, um, knit with it. But I don't currently have, I don't think I have any, so. Oh, I was going to say maybe I should try Drops Nord, but I don't love holding any of their fingering weights by itself. I find that it's a little bit too thin. Although I was contemplating maybe knitting like Tin Pure Gint. Has anyone used Tin Pure Gint by itself? I was contemplating that. Also, I, I might get a glass of water. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Mmm. Vanilla sport. Okay. Love sport. So versatile. Sock solo is sportish. Okay. Lord works with 3.75. Okay. Lang cashmere is very luxurious. I only made a small neck scarf, but it was not good for my wallet. It catches a lot of small lint and here's when used, but maybe it's just a cashmere thing. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so then it's smart to get small quantities of cashmere is what I'm hearing. <laughs> uh, I feel like good sport yarn are hard to come across because it's either heavy fingering or light DK. Yeah, there's no like perfect in between. That's why I feel like I really have to finesse. Bethany used a sock solo in five millimeters. It looked pretty good. What is sock solo? Am I silly? I've never heard of that. Three millimeters are the best with sport, but I barely find any that I like. Oh, three would be crazy. I feel like I've been in a fingering era recently. I just like the look and feel of the finished objects, even if it can be a little tough on my hands. Oh, oh, I'm so silly. I'm literally the silliest girl. Noro sock solo, of course. Um, that one I would use, yeah, I would use a four for sure. Um, that is also something I would love to do, is have, so maybe I do like a T with sock solo, and then for the competo, competo, I do like a top. I'm feeling that vibe. Um, it's hard to find hand dyed Aaron weight. True, true, very, very true. Uh, any suggestions on what I could do with two skeins of drops? Melody. I've had them for ages, no idea what to do with them. Melody is a fluffy yarn, isn't it? The solo rips so easily. I agree, but it's so stunning. Okay, wait, I might... I think I already swatched. I think I did swatch a four millimeter with my Noro, and it was lovely, so... Uh, is knitting for olive mohair itchy or irritating at all? Uh, if you don't like itchiness at all, it is for sure itchy. Okay, this I love, but I don't think I'm going to make it for the Thursday top. This is just too much. Too much fuzz. Too much. It's lovely, but it's too much fuzz. Um, do you have any plans of releasing your cardigan pattern? I love the color of that cardigan. Which cardigan? The yellow one? Because yes. The answer is later, though. So, um... I have yet to write the pattern, but like, I'm hoping to have, I'm, I'm hoping to like, have the test knits come out kind of every couple weeks. And then, like, yeah, like I don't wanna be putting them out all at the same time. So that's kind of why certain patterns are kind of like, hitting the, hitting the roster first. Uh, but yeah, everything I'm making, there are plans to make patterns for them. I'm sorry that they're just coming out slowly. Uh, Tiba Sock Solo would be so gorgeous. OMG, now I want more. Noro, do you have I have a plenty in the shop, yeah. We have like so many different colors too. Um, notice that my, uh, sport comes in less yardage than many other weights. Yeah, it definitely feels like a lot less. It's like 
you'll get 100, maybe 70 in 50 grams, which feels like a lot less. Okay, I'm getting the Discord ready. Um, bear with me. Um, Melody, I don't know the yardage either, but um, maybe a headband, maybe a hat, maybe check. I would say go check the um, projects to see what people make with Melody. And you could probably find some good, good stuff. I have a neuro addiction. Okay, same though. So I hope you're okay with me continuously making chorizo things. Um, I feel like heavy fingering just looks a little bit holy before blocking, but if I'm not enjoying knitting with it and how it looks, it's just a slog to knit with. Okay. Bumblebee Acres Farm is a hand dyer that does air and weight and whatever base they use feels super nice to me. Okay. Um, okay. 18th today. Awesome. Done with wool knits. Going all in with summer knits. Same. <laughs> Love that green. Did blouse number one by My Favorite Things Knitwear in Knitting for All of Pure Silk in Pink Daisies. Cast it on the cloud top by PK in green. A lot brighter in real life. Next cast on drops loops top in the yellow yarn got sucked in by the butter trend is that what they're calling it now is it the butter trend it's just yellow um lovely very nice this looks really nice that's gonna come out so cool uh i think spin cycles technically support weight so pretty but not too expensive yes Ooh, yes progress from tuesday working on the foot of this sock and the rib hat is done pretty are you gonna um oh wow oh i like that it has like a cascading effect very cool very cool omg do you have tin pure gin to swatch i do should i swatch it i'm i like i'm a little bit hesitant with the pure gint because isn't pure gint is pure gint not i thought it was oh, oh my gosh why did i think pure gint was alpaca isn't it just like another wool okay then i'm gonna get some and we're gonna swatch it because i want to see if we can do just like a full-on fingering Wait, I forget that I probably shouldn't just say fingering. <laughs> it sounds so bad. Uh, she's finally done. Well, not actually because I ran out of yarn for the second sleeve, but I got everything I need done for the test. So it can wait until I can get more yarn. I'm so burnt out on this piece. So the break is appreciated. Pattern is Rivendell cardigan by Sorry Nordland. I knit it in Valley Yarns Hampton. Nice, dude. I can't even imagine having to test knit a cable sweater. That seems so scary. Um, like the scariest of scaries. I could never. Um, but beautiful nonetheless. Um, hi, I finished my Florentina top and opted for buttons and some ties. Nice. I, I mean, I love that you can do that. Like the fact that you can even mod that is so freaking cool. Also included a pick, um, in the pick, some shorts I sewed. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's really cool. That's like actual talent. Um, those look like denim shorts, like actual, like legit shorts. We love that. Um, started a mood beanie yesterday for my cousin's child. Um, who unfortunately was diagnosed with leukemia. Oh, that sucks, but at least they're gonna have a beautiful hat. <laughs> Not that that makes it any better, but it's so bad. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, but it's gorgeous. I love the purple. Um, just started the first sleeve of my terracotta sweater knit in sun is tin pure gint and i'll pack a full trad using sunday for the brown contrast color using some of the mods done by mfo and ravelry for her porcelain sweater I need to knit fast because i want to wear it now interesting what mods are you doing i'm curious uh fingering is so good <laughs> only a knitter could say that with a straight face that is so devastating like who named it that and how do we just like absolutely like smack them off the face of the earth? Um, I have my heavy merino and navy waiting for your cabled sweater. You're going to be waiting a long time, girl. Um, has anyone used Wendy with wool? Aaron used it to make a sweater for my brother and is nowhere near an Aaron or worsted DK at best. Maybe it's just the balls I got. Bought it off a reseller. Have not used it. I feel like people usually interchange like Aaron and DK sometimes. LMAO, I forgot about that and avoid at all costs. My mom just confirmed that my uncle's not coming now. I oh no. Uh it's four ply not fingering in New Zealand. Yeah. Four ply feels a little bit 
like it makes more sense on the double knitted edges the wrap looks so dainty and so cute oh, i'd love it oh very cute oh look at that mohair i haven't worked with mohair in such a long time <laughs> oh my gosh i i can only imagine it's probably so lovely um no because imagine saying fingering is so good out loud in public that would i probably have said it and that's so scary um I finally finished the blanket I was working on like forever. My husband um, is holding the blanket. He is two meters high. Sorry, I was like two meters. Okay, yeah. Uh, so I would estimate that she's about two meters 20. Damn, that's a lot of knitting. That is so much knitting, um, but lovely nonetheless. You just made the brioche beanie with mohair. Yeah, but like she doesn't count. I mean, like I'm thinking more like a bigger project seeing everyone make like big ones but yeah, i did i did make that um ooh, finished my ophelia blouse now i've just got to learn how to style it so i actually feel comfortable wearing it outside or just develop mo more confidence i feel you it's i'm also quite hesitant with like showing skin but like like that's like this is like nothing you know it's just like really i guess like how comfortable you are um i would say maybe start wearing it like with like a tank inside maybe yeah and then just like yellow it but it's so beautiful i love it so much i have contemplated like making that top um they get to you make it for sure um or like wait until it's like absolutely the hottest temperature where you are and then wear that because i've definitely worn tanks that look more scandalous than that um oh missed last stream but wanted but watched it later heard to mention that she wanted to see the finish yes the little hammer on here are the finished pics was fortunately able to wear it a lot in boston last weekend because it was so cold ah oh my gosh oh my gosh Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love this. Oh, I'm oh my God. It's so good. It's so good. I don't think I've ever like, this needs to be like in a museum. I was, um, oh shoot. What was I doing the other day? <laughs> I think I was looking at like, um, handmade things, um, that were, I don't know maybe like a slideshow of it or something and in my mind I just thought about how these looked like artifacts for like people in the future to look at you know how like when we go to museums and we see all of their um um I don't want to say artifacts like the things that they made back in the like like thousands of years ago I just imagine something like that would be found and they'd be like whoa they'd frame it it become like the next Mona Lisa kind of thing. Um, prob the most goaded pattern of all time. Oh, hundred percent. It's crazy. Um, nearly finished the second sleeve. My cat, I'm cat sitting, trying to cat, keep the cats off while I knit. Hilarious that they like flock to you. I feel like cats, I just repel them. They like know I'm allergic and I, I think I just radiate off fear. So they avoid me at all costs. Um, finished the sock yesterday. Currently working on the Marie Case by PK. Oh, I love this. This is very pretty. I like the colorway. Actually about to ca uh, pick up stitches along the edge. Stunning. Uh, working on the sleeve. Oh my gosh, how are you on the sleeve already? And sipping on some comforting Earl Grey. Lovely. Oh, oh, it's gonna look so good. Oh. I have high hopes for my typical sweater, not even gonna lie. Um, my cat always bites my knitting needles. I would hate that. Um, I never realized what fingering weight sounds like. Now that's all I'm gonna think of. Thank you for that. You are welcome. You are so welcome. Um, the Lichen, am I saying that right? Scarf Test Knit by our beloved um, Katarina. Ooh, cool. And two quilt blocks. 
you, I, I swear to goodness gracious, those better be with your sewing machine. But lovely, I wanna get into quilting. Don't you dare convince me. I don't have time. <laughs> I don't have time for that. Um, ah, dude, I love your axolotl. It's so freaking cute. Um, ooh, lichen. That makes more sense. Lichen. Gosh. <laughs> um, a name. I would say Dottie, but that seems silly. Um, lichen, sort of, okay. Some progress since Tuesday. TBH, it feels like I didn't do anything. Is Body Island a thing? 100%. Body Island is such a thing. It's so scary. I would say maybe start on the collar. I find that like it gives you a nice change. And um, I always find that looking at the piece, I feel a lot happier because I'm like, oh, this is coming together so beautifully kind of thing. Um, talking about small needles, my rust, rust, rustral top using three millimeters. Very nice, very nice. Oh, it looks so nice. No, very nice. So nice. Very nice. Um, I don't even know if I could ever touch another three millimeter needle for a top. Um, but I pray for you that you can get that going. Uh, and there you go. Thank you guys so much for posting. Lovely, lovely, um, lovely to see everyone's stuff. I was gonna do something and I totally forgot. And that is fine. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna get my tin pure gin. Give me a moment. <laughs> Took my boyfriend to a yarn store. He saw one sign that said light fingering 25 bucks and it became his favorite joke. That's so funny. <laughs> Just a light. Just a really light fingering, yes. Um, I said it in front of my brother once and he was like, what? And then I had to clarify. Safe to say he was pretty weirded out. That is devastation to its finest. Currently working on a plus size tee with fingering weight on two and a half needles. Oh, that's like actual pain and torture to have to like knit like a five. Like imagine knitting a five XL on two and a half. Like, no. Okay. Well, anyway, I just picked up a tin pigment. I love. I've loved this color ever since her. No Nope. Her egg neat. So we're gonna try, this is, okay, it's Norwegian wool. So it's giving fennel, but fingering weight. Um, a men's extra large on four millimeter almost killed me. <laughs> Oh my gosh, realized I knit the cumulus tee in 2.75. Oh wow. That I could never. That I could literally. Oh, and she came apart a little. That's lovely. Cause if I like how this yarn comes out, I might do this in the short sleeve turtleneck. Um but I'm just afraid that the tin again by itself is gonna be itchy, so that's why I kind of wanted to do it more with a, like a softer yarn. No wonder it's so painful. Um, but we'll see. I was telling my BF to buy me DK yarn one time. He spelt it in a text. DK? Oh. That 
that would be so funny if like he came to the store and was like hey can i get like decay yarn i'm like excuse me making 3xl because i want to make sure it's roomy because i can deal with it being big but not small 12.5 inches of back and fourth stock in it once i get in the round it'll be okay 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 Um, knitting a men's medium on four for a cable twitter takes a long time it took me 18 hours just for the sleeve oh wow i can only imagine so much more metal if it was dk um hey tip short question what do you think of the never sweater pattern thank you is that the one by kopi cali um i i think it's cool i just think it's a bit too oversized for my liking I just don't think I would wear it, but like if you like the silhouette of it, I would say, of course. Um, also didn't check the meterage and also didn't check uh, how many sizes they did. Um, he did, he was saying, oh, this one is DK in front of the yarn store workers. I mean, I guess it kind of sounds normal. <laughs> um, what top are you wearing? Oh my gosh, I'm wearing the Monday top. This is my Monday top, it's knitted with Oh, someone asked me if I liked the coast. Did I respond to that? Hopefully I did. Anyway, love Holst Coast. I probably will pick up more if I can um, soon. Cause I, I usually get, I get, I have so much left over too though, is a little issue I have. It's, um, I buy the 200 gram packs and I held the double. It's maybe like 160 grams that I use. So I have like enough to make something that's for sure. No, I will wait for the pattern. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the Never Sweater size inclusive. Nice. Um, but that 20 plus positive ease or whatever it is, it's pretty wild. But it's crazy to me because I've knit stuff that's 20 plus positive ease. Like, and like, to me, that's not that oversized. But then when I see it on her, it looks really big. So then I get confused. Like, I've also seen people do 30 plus, like 30 positive ease, and I'm like, that's so much. Uh, but I feel like, I don't know, maybe it just depends. I don't know. 20 inches? No, 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 no. Really enjoyed the stream, so I had to have to leave early. Oh my gosh, no worries. Thank you for coming. Just cast on the papyrus top. Ooh, that is. That three millimeters is hard, yeah. Um, I hope everyone had a good. Oh. Okay, let me check. We'll check the Never Sweater. I actually don't. Uh, I didn't know that they released it. I but I haven't been keeping up. Never Sweater. Do they put it on their website or is it just? Screen share. Oh wow. Oh wow. That's, I'm sorry, that's huge. I, if I'm like 95, that's around my bus circumference. That's like 55 centimeters positive ease. Yeah, that's so much. I can't even, oh, look at how much yarn that uses. Held two strands, 725 fingering weight yarn i knew she loved positive ease but omg yeah okay okay 50 is too much 50 is too much yeah yeah yeah. 50 to 60 damn let me see the projects damn that's that's a really big sweater I don't know if I would survive knitting that. She made two? Damn. I'm not that dedicated, guys. I Like, I like knitting. I don't like knitting that much. <laughs> um, you know, like, even a cable sweater, I'm like, oof, I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> um, 
Ooh, that sounds like an average amount for me. Damn. Okay, also I'm loving, I'm loving Tim Purgan. Stop. It's a little itchy though. So I don't think I'm gonna do it for a turtleneck. But she's, she's an option. Four millimeters, I love it. It's giving Thursday top for sure. Um, it looks good on her, but I know it's not for me. Imagine a plus plus person knitting that. It's going to take at least six months. Damn. Uh, my Gersney Ganser is 20 inches positive ease, and I'm basically floating in it. It's cozy, but I will never do something like that again. Um... What is the fiber content? Wait for it, which one? Tim Gant? 100% Norwegian wool. Um, I think it would be so pretty for a Thursday top. I think this would be so itchy though. This is so itchy. She's itchy. I did my Storm and my Agni in Tim Gant. I love it. Definitely not for a turtleneck for me. Yeah, I think this would be crazy for a turtleneck. <laughs> God just trying it out here wash the tip again a few times softens okay oh this would be a really nice um like a vest if i am doing it oversized guys i'm torn why do you do this to me her small size would fit me with my go-to amount of positive ease yeah but it's a nice raglan love the two by two ribbing for sure um Maybe it'll soften with wear. I feel like it would. What would I use this for though? But I like the weight of it. I think the rusticness of it really like fills in what it needs to. And it's very, like it's giving what I need it to give. I'm trying to think the Sunday was also oh giving, but it was giving Maybe a little bit less, a little bit less of what I, like a, th I think a three and a half would be really nice for that. So maybe I'll do a three and a half T. I I think that would be good. I'm using four millimeters. It looks really good. I think it looks really good with four millimeters. Um, Pier Gint it for a summer night cardi maybe. Don't get me started. I need to do a Pier Gint sweater so bad. Don't you dare get me on that. I will, I will try. Um, the yellow cardi you made I think would look good in this yarn but think this is thinner yeah no this is definitely thinner I'm, I I do really want to make a light cardigan um, I don't know what yarn though so maybe this is giving me inspo oh, there's too many things there's too many choices like I, I think I'm thinking more like what cardigan color do I need the most of and that's why I was thinking I want like a light let me show you my kind of let me look up light cardigan I want to make a light cardigan in like a maroon color but I also want to make it in a light gray color I was initially going to use my hills vog but now I might want to use the cashmere um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find like a light cardigan. But then I don't know if I should also knit it in black is the issue. Like I just want so many light cardigans, like it's not okay. Um Sunday, uh light cardigan for fall, you got time for sure. Sunday for the light cardigan in black. Oh my gosh. I might reuse my yarn that I used for the April cardigan. Um, just because we would love to use that up. We would love to use it up. Um, I'm putting in another vote for Tin Beer Gint Thursday. You guys are hurting me. Like this color though? Hmm. But like what happens if she's itchy? And then what am I going to do with this yarn? I loved this color too. Oh, they're so good. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to find a light cardigan that I can kind of 
show you guys to give you inspiration of what I'm thinking of. Uh, something like this, maybe? Wait, screen share. You do need a gray card again. Or like, do I do a brown one? But then I've been seeing so many red ones come out that I'm like, do I need, ooh, we should do this. Oh, I need to save this right now. I need to save that. That, that's gonna happen. I love that look. Like this, I'm thinking I need something like this. Okay, obviously what is happening with her arm. Uh, if you find it itchy, then maybe not. Everyone is different. I find it very similar to the Mondim. You remind me of Rose from Blackpink. That is the sweetest compliment you could ever give me. Thank you. Um, so I'm kind of torn on like what colors I need for a light. I need, I'm, I'm gonna make this. This is like a for sure must. Saved. Um, that's something a little bit more chunky though. But yeah, I think I'm like more trying to focus on what do I think I really need and what I should kind of focus on maybe. Um, I have leftover pink Piergan from my cable cardigan plus some purple Piergan I got on clearance. I want to get some yellow so I can make a cute striped hoodie with them and as you should. Um, do you have a link to your Pinterest? Your vibe is amazing. Um, I have a link to my public one. Uh, it's just, I think you can just find it. It's like typical bliss. Um, so I, ugh, I think I'm going to need to look at outfits and things I need because I don't want to just like make stuff with like the yarn I have. I also want to make sure that it's like colors that I know I'm going to wear. So your girl's torn girl is very torn how many how many little cardigans do I need there was um a really popular one um, a Ritzia cardigan maybe no that's not helpful at all okay if you can't go wrong with Wrong either, Gray. Yeah. Have you seen the SS Daily Duck card again? I have not. What is that? Ooh, we finished the Monday top. Okay, sorry. I'm just gonna... I'm just, I ha These are, like, stuff that I finished. Monday top! Bing, bing, boom. Finished. Very nice. Um... Okay, yeah, so I had this. Sorry, I feel like all my streams now are just like me planning things with you guys because I am confused constantly and need help constantly. Um, these are kind of just like brainstorming ideas. I don't know how many are really gonna come into fruition. I'll also write, I'll just write Thursday top times two. Can you see that? Yeah, Thursday top, torn. We're keeping you productive, yes. <laughs> um, back on thinking of possible yarns for Thursday. Do you get an alpaca cotton from Kensington Farms? That's what I used for my Tuesday tot. So she is, she's been occupadoed. Um, the leftover I'm going to use with that is going to be the skirt. Um, so I can have a matching set. Okay. Okay. I think I'm not going to lie. I'm like kind of feeling like I want to do a Sunday tea <laughs> i mean you know what i mean not not like a you, you know what i mean like a sun is gone sunday in a tea i love the brainstorming streams because i feel like i'm not working alone okay good um you guys are keeping me productive because i need to narrow it down oh, okay no i thought i was somewhere i thought i was thinking about something okay okay the croissant top i have already is going to be the knitting for all of cotton merino, which I already have. I think I have an idea. I want to do a croissant tank. Oop, we can't even see that. Croissant tank 
It's so fun, but so stressful. Just glad to have it rather than an exam. I'm late, but it's first time touching, catching live and forever working on a bed quilt for my fibers class final. That's really cool. Uh, quilt for homework sounds stressful, but also fun as heck. Yeah. Love them because it feels like a FaceTime. Okay, croissant tank is just... I want to do that cabled, like, cabled alternating, but a tank top version versus just, like, a normal um, sleeve top. Oh, I'm going to also write sleeveless. Oh, shoot. Sleeveless. Can you even see that turtleneck? Because someone had suggested that. Um, this one I'm going to use my merino silk. Because I just knitted it up and it was beautiful. Uh, this is the first time I've picked up my knitting in like two weeks. Thank you for these streams. They inspire me. Oh, that's lovely. Hey to overdo yarn. Would you dye the yarn or knit or dye the finished thing? Uh, normally I would dye it then knit, but if you've already knit it and you don't like the color, then I would dye. Um, button up tank is also going to be this. Merino slash, I think Trio One is the combo I was gonna go for. Um, okay, yeah, croissant tea. Oh yeah, so the vibe that I want to do is let me find my Pinterest. It's just like if you've seen like the Ralph Lauren T-shirts, not T-shirts, Ralph Lauren sweater tee i wish i knew how to describe it better but i think they look so nice um oh this one's cool it's like a dress but no to the dress is there a tee there yeah like this i want to make something like this i don't know what to do though i'm like torn i don't want those ones i want just like a tee I dye the yarn first, dye it after. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, the journal I'm using, this is the one that I got from Inga. Oh my gosh, the bullet journal for knitters. Uh, it's by, I think you can probably look them up on Instagram maybe. I think they have an Instagram. Um, yeah, check it out. Uh, the cropped one was cute. That was the men's extra large sweater. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I want a tee of some sort, but I don't know. Um, skirt, that could be anything. Tee, I'm just gonna write... I also have this Judy Long that I could use. Oh, you want to write it down, sorry. H-A-N-N-E-M-A, -N -N -E and then L U N D. H A N S U. I want to say this is an, an N D. Uh, give them a shout out. I'm giving them a shout out. Let let them know if uh, that I sent you there, and then maybe can, they can send me a new one. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, what's the name of the top you're wearing? The Monday top. She's the Monday top. I love her. She's everything. Um, and then, oh my gosh, imagine we do a croissant baby collection. Someone stop me right now. Uh, I saw a Ralph Lauren baby blue cable sweater at Goodwill. Kind of mad I didn't steal. Okay, first off, don't steal. I hope you mean bye. <laughs> uh, I, saw, I saw a photo of Kate Moss in a chunky cropped gray versace one tented minus the turtleneck of it all would love a turtleneck version wait that's so cool i i need i need the breakfast at tiffany's collection oh shoot right we're gonna do that was that gonna be cardigans i don't remember i want a croissant tee in light yellow see okay so this is the issue it's like oh there's so many things we could do what do we do guys <sighs> okay And then I'm also thinking about frogging my cotton merino knitting for all of, like, the Sunday tea. I might just frog that all. Um, 
your cami is honestly super flattering on you. Oh, thank you. Um, so not too sure what we want to like start first. It's going to be kind of like what we're feeling. Uh, short sleeve cardigan. Oh yeah, I wanted to do that because Petite Knit has one. I'm thinking maybe we could do it in my, like a cream. But I don't, ooh, maybe and then we can do a bralette. Short sleeve cardi, I'm gonna put down holst for now. Short sleeve cardigan. Oh, I was gonna do this. So I'm just gonna write holst again. <laughs> yeah, okay, croissant tea. Knitting is so good, just frog like it never existed and turned into something else. If you frog the cotton merino, you could use that for the Thursday oversized. I would, but it's white and I already have the Alice top, which gives me like very similar vibes, even though like obviously it's in the round. I kind of just want something. I think I'm, I'm interested in a brown. Okay, also, do you think we should do, oh, oh no. Sorry, I knocked the camera. I know you can still hear me, so just bear with me while I try to fix this. I don't think it's gonna work. Oh, oh, we got it. Okay, lovely. Um, OMG breakfast at Tiffany's like the movie, yeah. Uh, so the tin beer again. Maybe we are gravitating towards that. <sighs> Tiffany, why? Or I do a light cardigan with the tin again. What are we feeling? Or I hold one strand. I have some gray tin again. I hold it with my, I hold it with my cashmere. I mean, buy, it was only eight bucks too. Okay, I really want to make a t-shirt in the Sunday. I think I am going to write that down. Light cardigan. We could do gray and then we do the brown for... Because I have a lot of gray. So I have like Hillswag gray. I have Issa Your, I think Tiffany in gray. Um... So I might just say gray right now. That's not helpful. I'll say Hillsvog maybe. What was the first one you liked for the Thursday? It was more beige cream. That one is, this one I also need to work with. So this is, I am holding it with one strand Holst Super Soft and one strand Dungaree Tweed. Which I also like this for the Thursday. And I think it would feel a bit more nicer. But I, I guess it's more just like what I can style it with. Oh, I wish I had my highlighter. That is nice. But I could also use that for something else. Oh, we could use it for the croissant tea. Or I like the brown colors more. And then that salt. Sleeveless turtleneck Thursday top. Colored. Oh yeah, I put colored button up in a polo. Just, I think we're a little ambitious. I don't think we're actually going to do that. Mm. Okay, how about I'll tentatively I'll write tentatively tin pier again here on the Thursday top. And then I don't know. Didn't you want to do a top with an offset button collar? I did. Tank. Asim button. 
that one I don't have a yarn for. But then, oh, I have this, I have this cotton cashmere I wanted to use for something. Perfect. Okay, we got that one. What other yarns am I thinking? Oh, and then I need a perfect piece for the competo. The competo. Oh, imagine an off the shoulder top. That would be so beautiful with that. So torn. <laughs> I'm so torn. Mm. Then what do I make with this guy? What do you get to be? Should you even be a combo? I'm torn. I'm torn. I'm torn. I'm torn. Did I do one for the short sleeve turtleneck? I was just gonna do maybe this one, but then I'm afraid it's too close to my Louvre sweater. What can I make with this? God, this is the worst. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm trying to do. You know how like you um those those puzzles or those games where you have to like align them to like a certain thing, but the issue is is that there's empty ones. I think my dog is broken. She just stares at walls for hours. Okay, that is very concerning. I'm so sorry. Okay, sleeveless turtleneck. We could do. Or we do colored button up and a polo. Maybe something with continuous sleeves? What about you? Oh, hand spun. That'd be cool. A saddle shoulder sweater. Okay, yeah, we. Uh, I do have like an idea of wanting to do like a whole saddle shoulder select a uh, saddle shoulder collection. Should we name that something? It should be like a horse or something. Or like what's related to horses that we could do and have like a like a saddle collection. Um a side tie tank. The cowboy collection. The horse Okay, but I'm not a horse girl, so that would not be accurate. Maybe even just adding it to the list to, to throw it in there. I should test out some of my hand spun for sure. Like, um, swatch them. Um, we call them the hammer shoulders in French. Stallion sweater. Okay. The unicorn collection. That's crazy. Or like what, oh, I could name them like animals that you put saddles on. Saddles. Do you know what I mean? Um, or like, can you put any saddle on any animal? I'm gonna look up what animals, what animals do people put saddles on a pony tee a Shetland horse breeds that's crazy though the issue is it's like then we're getting into territory where I'm like I know nothing about this that it almost feels wrong the donkey tee that'd be crazy camel saddles Elephant saddles? Oh, I don't like that. We don't like that. Anything you could ride. 
Yeah. Okay. I don't know. That I was putting that out there. Don't know if I love that. That might be a no from me. We could also just call it the saddle sweater. I could also just call it that. And we could be good. <laughs> good there. Don't need anything more, really. Ride along collection. I should call them the Cowboy Lou. Because you know how, like, oh, Cowboy Bliss? I think that makes more sense. Because, like, you know the Cowboy Carter collection? I mean, no, no, no. Cowboy Carter, Beyonce's new album. I think that makes more sense. But also a little confusing. And just like a tad confusing. Like, I'm wondering what other people are naming their saddle shoulder patterns. They're just, that they're probably nor naming them normal things, aren't they? Cowboy Bliss, so cute. Yeah, I think I may be leaning towards that, but that's gonna be so confusing. Um, the Bucking Bronco. Is that what that machine thing is called? I don't know. My favorite thing is it's just a number. <laughs> I know, wait, there's someone else who's doing saddle shoulder. Is it Kadri or Rosetta? There was this one child movie with this wild Mustang, Mustad? Mustan. Fighting for his freedom, I don't remember the name. Lovely. I know Morka has it, but there's no way Morka's naming it anything different. Wrong screen. Okay. Saddle, 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 saddle. Wait a second. This sweater looks exactly, the Harless sweater looks exactly like her Lennon. Gosh, I wish I could be like that. Oh, the spirit collection after the movie. I'm into that. I do love the spirit movie. The spirit movies. Oh wait, excuse me. This looks exactly like that. This one. Do you see this? This looks like exactly like. It looks exactly like the other ones I just showed you guys. Okay, so it's not Kadri. Then it's Ozetta. I think Ozetta's are the lakes tea. Okay. Oh, I like that one. Yes, the lakes, lakes. And she's doing a v-neck one, which I think is beautiful. I would love to make, oh, I would love to make my own versions of these. But then it's like, she already has like such a beautiful version. It's like, do I even need to? But I would probably do a stockinette folded brim for all of that because me. Um, lakes. I guess that's really random then. Uh, has nothing to do with saddles. Um, Gregoria has a saddle sweater? Okay. Um, they're just like turtleneck is an inch longer. New pattern. <laughs> Ozetta will release a v-neck saddle sweater sort of soon. Yeah. I'm knitting the lake tee right now. Yeah. Uh, boyfriend sweater by Lynette has a saddle shoulder. Okay, so yeah, everyone's not naming it saddle anything, which I guess makes sense, right? Because they're not actually, wait, did I just, I'm not saying I would coin this, but saddle shoulder, like when you look up saddle shoulder sweater, is that going to come up? Like maybe we just coined that, do you know what I mean? Like maybe that's not actually what they're called. <sighs> what about names of different horse breeds? There are some pretty horse breeds names. Oh, I still want the cheese one. When do we, I gotta write that down. When are we gonna do the cheese collection? I was so into that. Um, Terrazzo and Sycamore are a saddle. Right. Mm, saddle plus talking at ribbing is exactly the my favorite things that wear. Saddle up shoulder sweater. <laughs> uh, I feel like I've heard it before though. Currently testing the lake v-neck for Rosetta so far. It's amazing. I can only imagine. 
Still think cheese would be a ah, saw collection. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, like when I'm looking up sweaters that say saddle, like nothing really comes up. So like, am I just delusional calling it the saddle shoulder? But then when I say it, I feel like you guys get it. But like, maybe that's, maybe I am delusional. No, yeah, it's saddle shoulder. It has to be. It has to be. Um, for the Harlow sort of V-neck, doesn't my favorite things that wear have a sweater exactly like that, or am I tripping? Honestly, they're all kind of very similar to each other always. No, I've definitely heard other people say saddle shoulder. Okay, with the same thick V-neck ribbing. Is there even a saddle filter on Ravelry? I really doubt that. I'm gonna say absolutely no. Sorry, I'm looking at I'm looking at patterns just to make sure I'm at least a little bit different than theirs. Cause now I'm thinking maybe I'm too similar to everyone else. Oh, there is under sleeve. Awesome. Okay. Gosh, I'm gonna be thinking all day. <laughs> After the stream, I'm just gonna be thinking about what the bejesus I'm gonna knit with any of these things. Sorry, I'm picking up back the Noro because I want to be inspired by something for the Noro. Would love a top. Would she beat the Saturday top? No, that's crazy. Uh, on my last decrease, thank you all for keeping me company during Sleeve Island. Dude, awesome. I'm glad you got somewhere. We didn't get very far on the stream. I think I just confused myself a little bit more. But thank you for everyone's input and like helping me choose some things get me excited or like kind of seeing what people's excitement was for what thing and going to it so I have to try my best what do I want from you do I want a t-shirt or do I want a tank top? Cause oh my gosh, like, can you see this? No, you can't. <laughs> it's so pretty. A broken rib in Competo. I think I have to do stock in it. I'm so basic, I have to do stock in it. Just, it's so pretty. It's so freaking pretty. Um, I still have a bunch in my shop if you guys want to go pick it up because for some reason every time I get stuff they all sell out like like I can't even get my hands on any Kakigori or any Nora Madara I don't know why they are just so hard to get but your girl is obsessed your girl is obsessed goodness gracious so I need something perfect for this guy. This guy has to be like, like the best thing I've ever made kind of thing. How often do you update your shop or no regular schedules? Um, no regular schedules, just kind of like what's up is up <laughs> and available. Um, I try to get rid of most things that were out of stock. So you just kind of see anything that's, um, What's there? Uh, still waiting for the day Noro does solid. Noro does solids. Noro does um, Sonata. They have a really nice dark blue that I was looking at. Okay, I feel less crazy for sporadically checking it now. Oh my gosh, yeah. Um, I. What's there is there. 
pretty much, and I haven't like updated anything. Um, I bought a sorter quantity in, of Noro in Japan, and I'm just sitting on what I want to ultimately make with it because it's so beautiful. I know, like each one, oh my god, I love this. Each one of them like deserves its own beautiful, just, it just deserves its own, it has to be the perfect piece. You can't, like, you can't, you can't skimp out. It's gotta be perfect. Oh, should I swatch um, Silk Garden Sock Solo? That's one I should swatch. Or do you think it's too similar? I guess technically I don't have a, I don't have a pattern that uses Omitama yet. Should we swatch that for the last six minutes? <laughs> um, got a couple inches down on the body. Cardigan and one of the dark brown Madaras sounds so good. Oh, it truly does. Oh, it's so pretty. Are you kidding? Oh, yes, please. The T16 Atami. Is that the... I think I have that one. Do I? Sorry if I don't. Um, okay, there's that one. I'm just going to go look for my... my silk Ooh, I wonder I want to see the difference between this and the competo and if there is no difference then I might knit the brown one first but I'm just gonna check if it looks nice on four Oh, of course it looks amazing on four. Um, the one I'm knitting on right now, this one is Omitama, Garden Silk Sock Solo. The one I just knit is the Competo. So I'm, I'm, see, I'm trying to see if they look similar. Cause then, then I have like a wool alternative and then I have a cotton alternative and then We'll, we will see what um, what I should make with each one. Or if that's too much. Do you think that's too much in my collection if I start doing uh, just this one color? <laughs> um, or should we try to change it up and do like the brown or like a gray? Do you know what I mean? Or should I just also have an Omitama in my collection? Can we, can we think about it? Love that the Noro site has swatches. They have to. If they don't have a swatch, it's just, it's confusing. Okay, honestly, the fours kind of feel tight. I feel like I could get away with a four and a half, but I'll keep going. So like this one I would make either like a sweater or like that turtleneck sweater. And then this guy I would make like a top. Or like a t-shirt right should I just make my own sweater but then ugh, then I'm, ugh, but then I have one you know I have I have I have the terrazzo sweater you know so it's like why do I need another Omitama um, but honestly I must say I don't find the Nora swatches that accurate at all sometimes they are sometimes they aren't for the striping ones, they're accurate. For the ones that are like this, not very accurate. Uh, I feel like I need a 4.25, but I've never seen one. I have also never seen one. How does everyone store the knits? I hang mine, but I feel like over time gravity will bring it down and stretch. For sure, I store them in like a plastic um, container underneath my bed. Or it has a, mine has a zipper though. But I did find like a little bug on my um, teddy pillow. And I'm a little worried, so I'm just gonna pretend like everything's fine and totally ignore it. Um, but for sure, don't hang them. They'll for sure stretch. I haven't gotten moths yet, so YOLO. The issue is like my, my family, 
like they're really bad at storing their sweaters so I think they're the ones that are attracting all these like insects in our house and I am just like a byproduct like I I'm just getting secondhand like moths or bugs you know what I mean I only had a moth at one time so mine are just laying around everywhere <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm honestly gonna have to save some Omitama for myself because this one is gorgeous. Okay, well, I don't know. Like, they all give the same energy, but they're all different. Okay, we'll keep knitting. Um, but it is three. Thank you guys so much for coming. <laughs> Omitama Lightweight Henley. That's so funny. Um, thank you guys so much for coming. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys had a lovely time here on the stream. Um, again, 1 p.m. Tuesdays, Thursdays, PST. Um, again, I the last stream I think will be the second, and I'm coming back March may 28th so just remind you guys like way ahead of time just so we are for sure um i hope you guys have a lovely weekend um yeah don't forget to like subscribe comment push the notification bell when you want to be want to be notified next and um yeah hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one bye and i'll close it this time okay i left the live on for an extra like two hours after the stream okay <laughs>